Okay, so it's Adrian, and I'm back with the best of 2023, and I'm really, time has just like slipped by this year, and I don't know where it went, and so we're going to do the best of 2023 indie palettes, and so I thought I'd just go ahead, tell you what I have on really quickly before we get into that. And so I do have um, the house laps on today as far as my foundation. I have mine in Fair Cool 50. As far as the blush that I have on today, um, the Essence, and this one is in uh, Berry Cheeks. So this one is a very raspberry kind of color. Um, I did go ahead and use, let's see, the um, Catrice. This is a Supreme... Uh, rose beam highlighter on top of it so that's what I have on as far as my highlighter today I did uh, let's see what else um, the essence thick and wow and caramel blonde for my brow um, I did end up mixing three different mascaras together so I had the essence volume stylist in the 18 hour wear uh, the Maybelline sky high and then the FanFest by Benefit. So I have all three of these on today. As far as what I went ahead and used on the eyes, the Sakura. And this one is by Alter Ego. So that's what I have on the eyes today. And um, let's see, anything else that I need to go through? Oh, the Just a Tint by ColourPop. And then I did go ahead and put the NYX uh, fat oil on top of it. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, so we have a lot of cranberry and a lot of mint and teal on today. So those are the color, the color story I kind of went with. And let's get started with the video. It's some of the best um, indie palettes of 2023. And this is not an easy task because, as we all know, the indie palettes have been going great guns and they've done amazing things this year. And so um, we'll go ahead and get started. And um, what I did was I went ahead and grouped them. None of these are bad palettes, but I kind of grouped them as in some of my best favorites, my medium favorites, and the ones that I wouldn't kick out of bed, but, you know, they aren't exactly my favorites. So um, we'll go ahead and get started with some of the ones that I like a lot, but they aren't necessarily my favorite of the indie palettes. And indie palettes, the eyeshadow palettes, are going wild. Um, they're, they have been making some real waves this year. And so if I did a, a video that was all high-end palettes, I wouldn't have a video. I wouldn't have enough. But since uh, these are indie palettes, um, I have more than enough to do this video. And we'll get started in just one second here. Okay, so I went ahead and I grabbed my beverage, and in my case, the tissue. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. And again, all of these are really good palettes. It's just that there are some I wear a lot and some I don't wear a lot. So we'll get started with Sigma. Um, these are a new a new way that they came up with doing these. Two, four, six, seven shadows. I think their full-size palettes have 14 shadows. Anyway, this is Enchanted. And um, the other one that I got was the new mod. And these are both really pretty palettes if you want to go ahead and play with the Sigma formula. And the packaging, I think, is just really neat. So um, those are the first two we got there. Um, did go ahead and pick up a whole bunch from Glamlight this year. The Scooby-Doo Creeps and Crawls is a really pretty blue one that has a whole bunch of duochromes and if you're going for a darker look uh, this is a really good palette to go ahead and get that with. Um, this got a couple of Nomad palettes this year and this one as far as packaging I just 
it's gorgeous it's that velvet and it's the Orient Express and being a big Agatha Christie fan and really you know just loving the glamour of trains from the 1920s what's not to like about this palette and it is a gorgeous palette and um, definitely one that I just think that they did a really gorgeous job with and um, stick in with the glam light here for a second uh, this Michaela palette um, and love the glitter on these ones really do just got it this year I think it's probably been out for a while but um, again a fun color story um, I actually really like the neutrals in this palette they tend to lean orange and peach and so they're really fun to play with and so um, and again I mean how can you go wrong with all this glitter just going everywhere it's just so much fun so um, yeah and then as far as another palette that I got it's not new this year but um, since I'm not doing a high-end sort of video because I don't have very many high-end palettes uh, the ABH Norvina palette and this is what is this one volume 5 is what this one is and I picked this one up I think over at TJ Maxx but this color story is just so beautiful that I think that it's really gorgeous palette and I wanted to go ahead and mention it because I've done some really pretty looks with it this year and then the last palette that I have and this first grouping is a uh, jewels and gems this is by Odin's eye and again um, cool tones have just been really popular this is a cool tone palette I hadn't tried the Odin's eye formula until um, actually I Black Friday was the first time that I tried any of the Odin's eye formula and their micro glitters and their toppers that had the little shiny oh gorgeous gorgeous and some gorgeous very different kind of looks with these so that's um, the first grouping of palettes and we'll go to the second grouping in just one second here okay so back with the second grouping of palettes and these are all indie palettes uh, these are ones that it's more of the color story I think why I put these in the middle grouping um, just because these are colors that I tend to wear a lot more often um, so starting with glam light we have the scooby-doo and this one is rock row ruggy and so um, again I got that one this year and it has a lot of greens in it and um, a couple of blues and I just find it a very wearable fun palette and I'm loving these lime greens right here in the middle and so um, yeah definitely a really good palette as well uh, this is a brand new one I just got on Black Friday it's by Fantasy Cosmetica it's the Bard and I thought that it was just a gorgeous color story and um, has some duochromes in here that are really gorgeous and so yeah definitely a really good formula I have a palette that I haven't even done a video on yet um, I got this um, yeah during Black Friday and uh, the makeup just for fun and uh, she put out a collaboration with um, Amanda and she put out a collaboration with Odin's Eye um, I haven't even gotten to do a video with it yet but it's so pretty and I've worn it a couple of times and it just is a really good palette again a whole bunch of color stories that I really like um, this one by Nomad the Cartagena Cartagena Magica Cartagena Magica yeah so this is a really pretty pretty and I love the packaging on this one um, summer palette uh, by Nomad and I hope that they do a couple more like this because I don't think this one's available anymore but it's just the colors and the whole the way that they put it together 
the color story. That's what I'm trying to say. Love the color story on this one. And um, I think the last one is actually the Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Again, I haven't tried any of this or any of their palettes until now. And I picked up the Sugar and Grunge palette. So this is the palette. And um, just a whole way that they set up their eyeshadows where they do um, a pastel row, a medium row, a dark row, and then your shimmers. I think it's just such a fun idea. And I wanted to not only try the formula, which is really good, but I wanted to try this setup to see if it, you know, led me into uh, different kinds of... Okay, so I'm back uh, with the top four palettes, or the top four indie palettes of 2023, at least for me. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started. And of course, Glamlight um, has just made such an impact this year. And so I got their Friday the 13th palette. It's one of their hologram ones. So it says Camp Crystal Lake, and then it goes to Friday 13th. So yeah. That's always fun. And um, this, their Camp Crystal Lake palette, I really didn't know if I would like it at all, but it has such a good color story to it. And I really thought when I looked at the palette, this is gonna be too dark, I'm not gonna like it, yada, yada, yada. And I ended up really liking it and finding a whole bunch of different looks in here that just worked really well. A couple of surprises as well. Um, this shadow here, I kept on trying to make a brown. It's really a gold. And um, just a whole bunch of really fun looks. So um, definitely would highly recommend this one. Uh, next one. Um, again, this was the first time that I tried Odin's Eye. And this Christmas Eve palette. I, it was actually released last year. I didn't pick it up last year because it sold out before I had a chance to. Um, but this year I picked it up when they brought it back out and it is such a gorgeous palette. Um, the shimmers, they do their shimmer, shimmers with micro glitters, really fine particles, and they just, they last too. They don't just sort of like, I, I've, I haven't used any with glitter glue and I've had them last 12, 14 hours and the formulas are just beautiful. They're very different from anything or from anything else I've seen. So really fun. Uh, one of the best palettes that I think of this whole year, and yeah, definitely one of the top four for me, is gonna be the Glamlight, the Scooby-Doo palette. And I know we had to wait for it. Um, as far as shipping, it didn't, and again, it's holographic, so you see Scooby in one area, and then you see the whole gang in the other area, but um, it just, yeah, we did have to wait for this palette. It didn't ship out right away, but as far as color story, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and again, Glamlight, if you ever want to do some light shimmers for In a Corner and some of that, we would appreciate it, but that's the only fault, and that's nitpicking. This is such a good palette. I would highly recommend this palette to anybody who wanted to go ahead and pick them up. Uh, the palette that I'm actually wearing right now is actually a dupe palette made by Alter Ego. It's called Sakura, and... Um, it's a dupe of the, I think it's the Retro Palette by Natasha Denona, but um, it is gorgeous. It's what I have on my eyes right now um, with all of the mint and the teals and the cranberry colors and the shimmer formula on here is just gorgeous. And I would definitely suggest picking it up. All of these are available over on the websites. Um, I don't think really with any of these palettes that you're going to go ahead and find them on um, 
or, or it, they just aren't mainstream enough for them to be in stores. So uh, you need to go to the Glamlight website or the Odin's Eye website or the Alter Ego website, the Blind Bunny website, any of these. Um, if, and there are going to be a couple that aren't in stock anymore uh, or aren't available, but most of these are going to be available um, on their website. So, yeah. Um, I hope that you found something that you looked at and went, yeah, I want to go ahead and get that one, and I hope you do get it. And I think that's just about the video. Like I said, uh, indie makeup has been blowing up this year, and so we've all been trying it out and seeing what we like, and um, it's kind of uh, the best of what I have for this year. So I hope that you have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.